Good morning and welcome to WCCU's 2022 Annual Meeting. Thanks to all of you for joining us this morning. I'm Tracy Guerin, the 2021 Chair of your Board of Directors, and I'm happy to be here with all of you today. It's strange how normal these virtual meetings are for us now, but we miss being back together and look forward to meeting in person again in the future. Until then, your credit union team and Board of Directors won't skip a beat. We'll be here continuing to build a stronger cooperative to better serve you. As year two of the pandemic comes to a close, your credit union is stronger than ever. Last year, we continued to adapt to the increase in the value of membership. Our team focused on enhancing online and mobile services, opened a new branch, broke records across several departments, and most of all, continued to put members first. We saw member satisfaction scores climbing back to pre-pandemic levels, which tells us we're moving in the right direction. You'll hear more about highlights from the year and reports a little later in the meeting. One note, if you are ex or someone you know is experiencing financial concerns due to the coronavirus or for any other reason, please reach out to us. We're here to help you. You'll get answers, not judgment. As you'll hear in a moment, we continue to be financially strong and have a range of resources to assist you. With that, I'll turn us back to the matter at hand today, our annual business meeting. Our agenda today is short and simple and about 20 minutes. We'll hold our business meeting and share updates from the board, the supervisory committee and management. We'll also announce the results of our recent volunteer election. And of course, we want to hear from you. If you have questions related to WCCU's performance or other questions based on what you hear at today's meetings, you can email us at annual meeting, all one word, at sign WSECU.org. Questions won't be answered in the real time today. However, starting Monday, our team will reply to each question with a personal response. For our members interested in the details on our financials, they are now posted online at wsecu.org. Just search for annual report. With that, let's head into the business meeting. The meeting will please come to order. I hereby acknowledge a quorum of 25 members are with us present and online I establish that we will follow Robert's rules of order for this meeting. Our first item of business is the reading of the minutes from the 2021 annual meeting. Do I hear a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes? So moved. <clears throat> we have a motion and a, do we have a second? Second. Now we have a motion and a second. Uh, so to dispense with the reading of the minutes from the 2021 annual meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Hearing none, the motion carries. First up to talk to you is election supervisor, Dr. Taisha K. Tolfrey of our supervisory committee to announce the 2022 election results. Thank you. We appreciate the 7,038 members who voted this year. Your ability to elect the leaders of the cooperative is a foundational component of the credit union difference. It's wonderful to see members engage in this way. Thank you again to all who voted. It's important to let your voice be heard. All right, on to the results. This year, there were three seats up for election with five candidates for the board of directors and two seats up for election with two candidates for the supervisory committee. Balloting was con conducted via online and paper ballots from February 2nd through February 16th. The following board and supervisory committee members were duly elected. For the board of directors, Veronica Bronkema, Doug Ma, and Stacia Holler. And for the supervisory committee, Yolanda Wilson and Wendy Weeks. We thank you all for stepping forward to serve your credit union and congratulate you on your election. With that, I'll turn it back over to Tracy. Thank you, Taisha. It's exciting to welcome the newly elected board members and I wanna congratulate them all. Now, is there a motion from the floor to authorize the destruction of the ballots from the election? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to authorize the destruction of the ballots from this year's election. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those, op 
Those opposed say nay. Hearing none, the motion carries. Now I'm happy to invite up Yolanda Wilson who will be giving the report from the Supervisory Committee. Good morning and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you the Supervisory Committee's report to the membership. The Supervisory Committee is composed of five members and just like the Board of Directors, we are elected volunteers committed to fostering the continued health of the cooperative. We too are member owners of WSCCU. I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to Swain Brasseff, the newest member of the committee. He was appointed last November to fill a midterm vacancy. The Supervisory Committee provides oversight of the audit function for the credit union. The purpose is to ensure credit union practices safeguard member assets. At our monthly meetings, we pay close attention to policy, system, and product changes as they relate to compliance. We must understand and monitor these changes by working with the internal audit staff to ensure they can develop audit functions around the new and innovative products our board and senior management develop to serve our membership. The Supervisory Committee has five main goals and responsibilities. They are financial reporting. We oversee the external annual financial audit and review the integrity of the credit union's financial reporting processes. Moss Adams is the CPA firm we hired to conduct the year-end financial audit of the credit union and its wholly owned subsidiary, WSECU Service Company, LLC. They issued WSCCU an unmodified opinion with no material issues or findings. This is good news. Compliance. We review the effectiveness of the systems for monitoring compliance with laws and regulations and processes by which instances of noncompliance are addressed. We review any findings of any examinations by regulatory agencies and any auditor observations. Audit services. We oversee the internal audit functions of the credit union. This group reviews all facets of the credit union's operations. We also provide an open avenue of communication between the credit union's audit services department, external auditors, and the board of directors. Internal controls and operational risk management. We regularly engage with the Audit Services Department as necessary to meet its responsibilities related to the adequacy of internal controls. The intent of the audits is to provide assurance that the credit union's assets are protected through efficient and effective internal controls that ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Other responsibilities and duties. We perform other activities as requested by the board of directors or as required by the credit union. We also oversee the credit union's election process. I am particularly pleased that our credit union places a high value on this process and we've worked hard to automate it and make participation easier. We hide survey and ballot systems to help with the process. I am fortunate to work with a committed group of volunteers. Collectively, we are dedicated to the protection of your individual accounts and the safety and soundness of the credit union as a whole. I am pleased to report that internal and external auditors agree that the credit union's financial operations are safe, sound, and secure. Now it's my pleasure to bring back Board Chair Tracy Gerwin to give the report from the Board of Directors. Thank you, Yolanda, and thank you again for watching along with us today to hear about your credit union, how your credit union is performing. <clears throat> the goal of a cooperative is to place service and benefit to members above all else. As your board chair, I can assure you that all of our decisions are first viewed through that lens. What is best for members? In 2021, we were still responding to the changes the pandemic introduced the year before. Of course, there was a continued focus on protecting the health and safety of the members and employees. About half of our staff are still working remotely, which has changed the way teams communicate, celebrate, and support one another. It still works great, but it's different. 
and we were here for members needing assistance related to the pandemic. Help for, help for people who had lost income because of things like reduced hours or missed work or because of illness. But in some ways, 2021 brought things back to more familiar patterns. Members again turned to the credit union for support on day-to-day -day financial tasks and for help to achieve bigger, more ambitious goals. Life did, life did move forward, even if masks and virtual meetings were still the norm. Let's talk about the day-to-day -day help first. When you look at how we support members on the phones, for example, many times what they call in for is support to keep their regular lives running smoothly. It might be to ask for their account balance or check on a pending deposit, maybe transfer money or let us know about some travel plans. Those calls are pretty straightforward and members get what they need quickly and are on their way. In other cases, we're here to help members solve more complex or challenging problems or reach more ambitious goals. Things like improving credit, developing a roadmap toward a comfortable retirement, recovering from identity theft, or consolidating debt to pay off a high rate loans from other lenders. These deeper conversations are a chance for our staff to really shine and show what we can do in support of members' financial well-being. And they happen all the time, every day in branches and on phones. I want to thank all the employees of WSCCU for continuing to deliver such great service, especially through these last two years. As for the Board of Directors itself, last year we looked inward. We have important routines around our own practices, committee structures, training, and other activities that need to be revisited regularly to ensure we are operating efficiently and effectively. Helping guide a more than $4 billion credit union on behalf of 285,000 members is humbling and serious work. We worked with consultants to review board operations to assure that we spend our time focused in the right areas. Those that bring the most value to members and the organization overall. Having solid governance practices might not be front page news, but they're important and a component of a well-run institution. Like the rest of our staff is doing, the board has also attended sessions on racial equity. We are having important conversations about how we can make financial services more inclusive to meet all members' needs and to become a better employer. This commitment extends into how we engaged in the community last year. In 2021, we distributed more than $1.3 million to nonprofit and educational partners who are doing great work a record for our community giving. A few of our newest partnerships are with universities working to assure more students of color and first generation college students have the resources and support they need to attain a degree. That's not all though. Our community giving also continues to support and celebrate those in public service and our state's fantastic public amenities. WCCU's public employee roots were established 65 years ago when a few state employees thought there should be a better way to bank and form the credit union. While we serve all, of re all residents of Washington today, that tie to public service remains. And some of the ways we fulfill it are by offering free financial classes in public agencies and schools, by donating to support Public Service Recognition Week, and by sponsoring events in our incredible state parks. Before I conclude, I want to take a moment to thank board member Travis Matheson as he wraps up his service on the Credit Union Board. We are thankful for his thoughtful perspective and his dedication to members. Our CEO, Gary Swindler, has more to share with you about 2021, including detail about our financial performance. Spoiler alert, it was really strong. When our numbers are good, when net income is solid, when loans are strong, I really view that not just as a set of financial performance metrics, but as measures of trust. It shows a, it's a show of your trust in WCCU, which along with our staff is our most valuable asset. It means we are delivering the kind of products, services, and technology that you need and want. We'll always keep working to re-earn that trust in every interaction and in everything we do. Thank you again for being a member. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Gary Swindler for our final report from the CEO. Thank you.
Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate those words. We told our staff at the end of the year, hurdles foster creativity and innovation. WSECU was founded by state employee Ed Montermini, who created something new when faced with the hurdle of not having $500 for a down payment to buy a house for him and his new bride. That spirit of innovation and adaptation continues today and is what we saw from our whole team last year. In year two of the pandemic, they tackled some big challenges facing our members and what it means to work and deliver great service through unusual times. The credit union had a very successful year and it's because of our amazing staff that never stops working on your behalf. We're all about service, of course, but this is an annual meeting, so it's time to talk about our financial performance for a moment. By the way, for those who really want to geek out on the numbers, our financials are online at wscu.org. Our net income last year was nearly $48 million. This was a record. That incredibly strong performance suggests a lot is going right. And that high net income is a bit of an outlier and deserves some explanation. The credit union is required to set aside funds to cover loan loss. It's not the norm, but sometimes our members just aren't able to pay on their loans. Earlier during the pandemic, with all of its uncertainty, we expected loan defaults to jump up, and we set aside funds accordingly for those anticipated losses. But in the end, something great happened. The defaults on loans just never really happened in any significant way. Our members and the general economy did better and recovered more quickly than we had originally thought. That means good things for most members. Their financial stability has remained strong throughout COVID. Those funds previously set aside were able to then be moved back and counted as income last year for us. At the end of this coming year, we expect to be back into more normal net income territory. This was a special circumstance. No matter the number, our earnings get returned to the membership in the form of better rates and lower fees, new service enhancements, improvements in technology and security features, and so much more. Mortgage lending remained especially strong last year. We all know the prices of homes have gone up considerably during the pandemic in many areas of Washington. That is reflected in loan volumes going up too, especially because interest rates remained very low. We helped hundreds of members either refinance their home they are in or help them get into a new one that worked better for them. Two more records that drove financial performance. Consumer lending for things like cars or personal loans and commercial lending. Here's another great fact. Our commercial loans had zero delinquency last year. Zero. Let's talk about enhancements in member service last year as well. We were excited to open our fourth branch in the Spokane area on one of the busiest corners in the city. Even as digital transactions continue to rise, we know how important branches are for you when you need face-to-face -face support. It's a great building with a great team. You can now schedule an appointment at that branch or any other through the online, new online tool introduced last year. No waiting in line and we're ready for you when you come in. In 2021, we took big leaps with our online loan application system to make applying for and receiving funding for some loans easier and quicker. That reduces the wait times for a decision and gets the money in your account sooner. Okay, I'm picturing something that might be on your mind. Call wait times. Our contact center does an amazing job. They have to be ready to help members with everything from a quick money transfer to providing mobile banking tech support to helping a member dispute a visa charge with a vendor. They had more than 645,000 interactions with members last year. And yes, at peak times, we know that phone wait times sometimes get a little long. We're really sorry about that. We've been working to address this and have hired a number of new employees for the contact center to help bring your wait time down. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Last year, we told you to keep an eye out for some added visibility around our marketing programs. We are poised for growth here and sharing our story in new ways. Here's one initiative we're pretty excited about. We joined the Seattle Kraken hockey team bandwagon with a new Root Sports Northwest broadcast partnership. For every goal scored by the team, WSCCU makes a $250 donation to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Washington. And as you watch the games on Root Sports, you'll see new WSCCU commercials during the broadcast. They look great. Keep an eye out. What's ahead for members and the credit union? Here's a quick list of a few items we're excited about. We've created a new position dedicated to working on 
how to get more low and moderate income individuals to become homeowners. This ties into our work on racial equity and will connect us to new partnerships and might even lead to new mortgage loan products. We're building a great new branch in Chehalis expect expected to open before the end of the year. This move will be to a high visibility location just off of I-5. There's also a new bill paying tool coming. We're introducing a person-to-person -person payment feature that will make online and mobile banking even more useful to you. We'll continue to simplify account opening and the borrowing process to make things easier for you as well. That's just a few of our priorities for 2022. Let me close with a thanks to all the employees who share their talents with the credit union. They are a caring, creative, and collaborative group. We have the best in the business working for you. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for choosing WSECU. With that, I will hand it back to Tracy to close us out. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for your uh, skilled and compassionate leadership through these last two years. He's done an outstanding job leading the credit union, and I'm really excited to see all those new features that will be coming out for members. And also just want to echo his thanks to our amazing and talented staff that we have out in the branches on the call center in the back office. Um, they're what keep us going. All right, with that, is there any new business? Having no new business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the business meeting. So moved. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. And the motion carries. The annual business meeting is officially closed. Thank you all for tuning in for today's event. Remember, if you have any questions for board or management, you can email them to annualmeeting, all one word, at sign, wsecu.org. Or at any time, feel free to use the many channels con to contact us noted on our website. I want to close again by saying, I want to close by saying again that our team at WSCCU has really demonstrated what they can do this year. I'm confident you will see, you will continue to see the cooperative flourishing and supporting members through excellent service, helpful products, technology tools that make life easier, and always an unwavering dedication to your financial well-being. I wish you all good health, and we look forward to seeing members once again in person in a future year. Thank you again for joining us today.